Okay, we're gonna go on our test drive. Uh, I just did the startup video, so you can watch that if you wanna hear it start up uh, and actually running. Uh, so two things I know about it as of right now is it has, uh, it does smoke a little bit. Um, uh, a little bit of oil, it burns a little bit of oil, so you got a little bit of, a little bit of that. Um, compression came back good in the engine. We did a compression on it at the shop. 145 unified throughout the cylinder, so that's good. They, they're kind of, these, these height outputs are known to uh, uh, have some problems with the valves or something, seat, not seating right or something, so I don't know exact. I know people know fixes for them, but it is what it is, so um, it's a no reserve auction. The other thing is, is it's got an airbag light on, which uh, if it's an easy fix, I'll fix it, uh, but it's, as of now, it's on there, so don't be, uh, tell me I didn't get it fixed. I just uh, want you to know exactly what it is, so Sometimes it's just a matter of getting them flashed, and that might be all it is. Um, occasionally, the clock springs in here um, break, and what happens when the clock spring breaks, it'll still activate the airbag, but it will, um, the mechanism that when you, it's basically this mechanism, when you turn the wheel back, that turns off your blinker, that's actually built into the clock spring, and sometimes those get broken uh, just from the vehicle being old enough. So those things are fairly cheap. They're about 80 bucks. Um, and if you buy this thing and we haven't fixed it and you want us to fix it, uh, then you can uh, either pay us or pay somebody else to do it. So I'm just helping a buddy out. So we're going to go on a little test drive here. I want to show you um, exactly how it drives. It drives really, really good. He's been driving it back and forth at work, although it is his secondary vehicle. The only other thing on it, it's got a couple uh, things on the front end that make it, um, make it a little noisy. Um, you could put on... Uh, some new steering components and stuff, but I'm gonna be quiet. But so the engine is extremely strong. It's a 4.7 high output. It runs really well. Um, you can see the temps coming up here. I'm gonna get it to temp so you can see that it doesn't go beyond temp. Because that's a big thing. You don't want to get anything that's got an overheating problem. It's never been hot, um, anything like that. Let's get it down here a little bit. show you another thing when we get on this road you don't want to do this on pavement so this is a dirt road we can do this on now put in neutral here come to a complete stop that's neutral that disengages your transfer case like if you were going to tow this thing or something and then all the way back that's for low okay back in the drive and you'll feel that kind of jolt that's low range so now we're, we're real low here and you can just hear it in the this is crawl mode, so you wouldn't use this unless you were four-wheeling or trying to get out of something, but just wanted to let you know or show you that it does go indeed into that and whatnot. So we'll go back into this, and you gotta put back in neutral, come to a stop. That goes there, and all the way back up. Now you're back in four high. Now you can just, see now it's back to nice and smooth. So, almost to operating tip. I'm gonna flip around and head back. Uh, but if you have any questions, comments, please feel free to give us a call, uh, give him a call, and uh, or you can email us. You can email me, actually. My email's on here, and I can always get the questions to him. Um, and we can just go from there. I think that's going to just about do it for this guy. I'll take a little bit of more photos of the inside of it, uh, just because I got all my videos done and uh, whatnot. So I'm making a nice, there's an oil rig over here, just getting turned around. Mud there, I don't want to go into if you just cleaned it, but and that noise you're hearing is the mud coming off these tires now. He's not going to be happy, he just cleaned this thing and I got it all muddy, so she'll need to. So the washer works on it, nice and clean. There brakes are nice definitely has a little bit of rattles up in the front I mean it's got 183k and I'll tell you that I can almost assure you that the, the suspension and stuff is pretty all stock so he's done a lot of maintenance as far as the oil changes and stuff like that but um, 
that kind of stuff is not so just really has a ton of pickup though shifts nice and smooth we're gonna get right up on this guy very soon i don't want to ride him too much so but just a really nice ride i mean this thing is just just gets up and goes so we're we're right at operating temperature right now that thing's not going to get any hotter than it is right now um it could sit out here and idle all day long at that temp and be fine so you could fly into denver and drive this thing back i usually don't suggest it um on anything that when you're buying a used vehicle uh although i've never had somebody have a problem i've listed a lot of cars before and and never had a, a glitch but it just it's always peace of mind plus the other thing is by the time you pay for your airline ticket your fuel mileage and your hotels it usually comes out to be about twice of what you can get them shipped for you get a vehicle shipped pretty much anywhere in the country for no more than about a thousand eight hundred a thousand bucks i can actually get them for five six hundred depending on where it is so and i can help you with that if need be so but that's going to do it for this guy i'm going to park this one out here and uh be done with her get some I like so I'll get some interior photos and, and engine apartment and whatnot so here's your temperature right under 210 pressure oil pressure that's good I'm in drive still so it's nice smooth idle there and then we'll go into park here okay so now we're idling in park and then they're right there at 210 so I'll wait for another few seconds and then it's also the vista for me good luck with the auction and let us know if you have any questions